Hey guys, how's it going? Paul Cooley here, doing my morning routine. Got my coffee, so I am happy. Um, today I want to talk to you about dealing with confrontation and dealing with um, uh, people, whether this is employees, whether it's a staff, maybe you are an employee and dealing with your boss or uh, management or something like that. So what I'm about to say is completely relevant uh, no matter where you find yourself. If you are a business owner uh, or an employee, as well as this is a tip for also just relationships in general, uh, no matter what kind of relationship, this tip will probably help you out a lot. And so uh, going back to more business, you know, it's very easy um, where, uh, let's say, the owner or the management is very driven and uh, they, there's deadlines to be met and got to get it done. And with that, I've found and seen that there can be a lack of um, kind of compassion or, or a lack of sensitivity to the people who are actually doing the things. And so what do you do if you have an employee, team member, whatever, that does something? Let's say they do a task, but they don't do it up to par. They don't do it up to your standard. Or they just don't do it in the way that you like. Maybe um, it could be a graphic designer, and you just don't quite like the looks of the logo or the website or whatever. Or maybe they um, didn't you know, complete the project completely, whatever. Or flip it around and let's say you're having issues with management or your boss or whatever the case may be. And so I want to give you a concept called the Oreo concept. And as you know, an Oreo has three layers technically. You got the two cookies, which is the outer layers, and you have the cream, which is the middle layer. So... Uh, and I actually gave this advice to someone uh, that was having issues with their boss, and they did this, and they were like, that was amazing, it worked. And so uh, I've used this technique over the years um, in, in many different situations and scenarios in and outside of business. So this is the concept. Basically, you got the three layers. So you start with the first layer when you approach somebody. So you get your Oreo ready. Not, not real Oreo, but, you know, you get your Oreo ready. And you give them the first layer, which would be a compliment, which would be something uplifting, which would be something that encourages them that, hey, you know what, uh, even though I'm about to tell you something probably that could be taken as negative, here's a positive thing first. Here is something that I appreciate about you. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the effort that you put into this. Great. But can we make a couple small changes instead of, we just need to make these changes right now. And the person goes, well, did I just, you know, because you got a lot of personalities, especially when you got a, the dynamics of a team, there are a lot of personalities. And if you're not paying attention to those kind of personalities, there are going to be super sensitive people. There's going to be not so sensitive people. And when you put those two in a room, it can uh, cause some chaos and hurt feelings and, and frustration. So... If that is the case, you need to learn the Oreo, all right? So you give them the first layer, which is more of a positive thing, a reinforcement thing, a, a, a compliment, an encouraging thing. Then you give them the cream, which is the, the correction, if you will. Like I said, hey, I, you, you're doing great. I appreciate your effort, but <laughs> could we maybe make this change? Or could you do this? Or, you know, it really wasn't quite up to par of what you said it was going to be. So can we uh, fix this by doing blah, 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 blah? Then you close the conversation with the other layer of the Oreo. Again, it's great to have you a part of this team. Uh, I appreciate your work. So go make those changes, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk again soon. You see what I'm saying? So it's encourage, correction, or, or whatever the case may be, wherever that conflict could happen, and then another positive, good layer. And so it, it starts it with good, it ends it with good, and it creates more of a closure and more, and people receive it better. Because people really, you know, I mean, people really, they just want to be accepted. They, they really do. And so when you create an environment, when you're ruling the realm in your office, 
and in your work environment, this is what you've got to do. You cannot be a drill sergeant because people are not going to like that. People don't handle that well. And you're going to lose loyalty. It's going to cause bad brand culture inside of your company. And so when you can approach people strategically and effectively and being sensitive to uh, maybe their personality and how they'll take things, give them the Oreo and you will see the productivity and the loyalty go up in your team and staff. Again, this works with other relationships inside of marriage, uh, uh, dating, I mean, friendships, whatever. Uh, so I encourage you, take the time. If you know you're going to have a hard conversation or that could lead to something bad, Oreo it and uh, watch the results. You will be happy with the results, and people will actually probably like you a lot more because you encourage them. So until next time, guys, God bless. This is Paul Cooley. It's time to rule your realm.